Quiet predictions, conservative forecasts, a comet expected to pass through the inner solar system as a modest telescopic target, visible only to dedicated observers with good equipment and dark skies. And then, without warning, it erupted. Comet C 2025, a sixth lemon, discovered in early January by the Mount Lemmon Survey in Arizona, has undergone a dramatic transformation that's caught astronomers completely off guard. Astronomers are reporting an unexpected surge in brightness from Comet C 2025, a sixth lemon, suggesting an early outburst, though NASA hasn't yet issued an official confirmation. What was predicted to remain at magnitude 10, requiring telescopes to see, has suddenly brightened to magnitude 4 or 5, according to multiple independent observers. Some reports suggest it could reach magnitude negative 2, making it as bright as Jupiter and easily visible to the naked eye. This wasn't supposed to happen yet. The comet's closest approach to the Sun, its perihelion, isn't scheduled until November 8th. Standard cometary models predicted gradual brightening as solar heating increased, with peak activity occurring around perihelion when solar radiation reaches maximum intensity. Instead, Lemon has gone rogue. Weeks ahead of schedule, it's releasing enormous quantities of gas and dust. Its coma has expanded dramatically. Its tail has stretched across multiple degrees of sky. And astrophotographers worldwide are capturing images of spiral jets, disconnection events, and dramatic interactions with the solar wind that indicate something extraordinary is happening beneath its frozen surface. Observatories are redirecting instruments. Amateur astronomers are posting real-time observations. And scientists are scrambling to understand what triggered this early outburst and what it means for the comet's future behavior. January 3rd. 2025. The Mount Lemmon Survey, a robotic telescope system in Arizona's Santa Catalina Mountains, detects a new fuzzy object moving against the background stars. The automated systems flag it as a potential comet. Follow-up observations confirm cometary characteristics. A developing coma, the beginnings of a tail, orbital elements indicating a long period trajectory. The Minor Planet Center assigns it the designation C 2025A6 Lemon, named after the observatory that discovered it. Orbital calculations reveal it's a long period comet with an orbital period between 1300 and 1400 years. The last time this object passed through the inner solar system, Charlemagne ruled Europe and the Tang Dynasty governed China. Initial brightness estimates place it around magnitude 10, faint requiring at least a small telescope to observe. Not a spectacular comet, not a once-in-a-lifetime event. Just another long period visitor, making its predictable journey around the Sunday. Ephemeris calculations predict key dates. Closest approach to Earth on October 21st at approximately 0.6 astronomical units, roughly 89 million kilometers. Perihelion on November 8th at 0.53 astronomical units from the Sunday. Based on these parameters and the comet's initial brightness, astronomers predict a modest show, perhaps magnitude 6 or 7 at peak, making it visible through binoculars from dark locations but not a naked eye spectacle. Interesting for comet enthusiasts, not newsworthy for general audiences. Those predictions just became obsolete. Subscribe now, because what happened to Comet Lemon is rewriting the observing forecast for late 2025, late October. Observers monitoring Comet Lemon begin reporting unusual activity. The coma is expanding faster than models predicted. Brightness measurements show unexpected increases. Images reveal developing structure in the tail that shouldn't be present yet at this distance from the Sunday. Then, in early November, the reports escalate. Dramatic brightness surge. The comet has jumped from magnitude 10 to magnitude 4 or 5 within days. The observations come primarily from amateur astronomers and observational networks like Space Weather Live, with some reports suggesting it could reach magnitude negative 2 under optimal conditions. While NASA has not yet issued an official statement confirming the outburst designation, the observational evidence from multiple independent sources worldwide is compelling and consistent. The brightness increase is real, measured, and documented across numerous observation sessions. To understand how significant this is, magnitude scale works backwards. Lower numbers mean brighter objects. 
The faintest stars visible to the naked eye under perfect dark skies are around magnitude 6. Magnitude 4 is clearly visible, even from suburban locations with moderate light pollution. Magnitude negative 2 is as bright as Jupiter, one of the brightest objects in the night sky. A jump from magnitude 10 to potentially negative 2 represents a brightness increase of over 10,000 times. This isn't gradual brightening following predictable thermal curves. This is explosive release of material indicating major subsurface activity. Astrophotographers capturing long exposure images document the transformation. The tail, which appeared modest in early observations, now stretches several degrees across the sky. Spiral jets emerge from the nucleus, visible as curved streamers in the coma. These jets indicate rotating venting, where active regions on the comet's surface release material as the nucleus spins. Most dramatically, observers report disconnection events. Portions of the tail appear to separate from the main body, stripped away by solar wind interactions. This happens when the magnetic field carried by the solar wind reconnects with the ionized gas in the comet's tail, effectively cutting sections loose. All of this is happening weeks before perihelion, when solar heating should be significantly less intense than at closest approach. Comets are not uniform spheres of ice. They're complex, layered structures with heterogeneous compositions and varying degrees of porosity. Understanding why lemon erupted early requires understanding this internal complexity. The nucleus consists of various ices mixed with dust and rocky material. Water ice dominates in most comets, but carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, ammonia, and other volatiles are also present. These different ices sublimate at different temperatures. As a comet approaches the sun, solar radiation penetrates the surface. Initially, only the most volatile ices sublimate, creating a thin crust of less volatile material left behind. Heat conducts deeper into the nucleus over time. Eventually, solar energy reaches subsurface pockets of volatile ices that have remained frozen. When those pockets heat up, they sublimate rapidly. The gas pressure builds beneath the surface crust. Eventually, pressure exceeds the crust's structural strength. The crust fractures. Gas and dust explosively vent into space. This is an outburst. Lemon's early activity suggests it has significant subsurface volatile reservoirs that became active sooner than standard models predicted. The comet might have an unusually porous structure, allowing heat to penetrate deeper, faster. Its rotation might expose different surface regions to sunlight that have different thermal properties. Previous perihelion passages might have created structural weaknesses that became pathways for heat penetration and gas escape. Comment below, have you ever witnessed a comet that exceeded expectations? From a scientific perspective, early eruptions are gifts. They extend the observation window and provide data about comet behavior that perihelion activity alone cannot reveal. Professional observatories are capitalizing on this opportunity. Spectroscopic observations measure what gases are being released. Water vapor, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, cyanogen, and other molecules each have distinctive spectral signatures. By measuring these signatures, astronomers determine the comet's composition and how it changes as activity evolves. Imaging across multiple wavelengths reveals different aspects of the comet's behavior. Visible light shows dust in the coma and tail. Ultraviolet observations detect hydroxyl radicals from water dissociation. Infrared imaging measures thermal emission and can detect different dust grain temperatures. For amateur astronomers, Lemon's unexpected brightening transforms it from a telescope-only target to a potential naked eye object. Dark sky locations away from city lights offer the best viewing. The comet is currently transitioning into evening sky visibility, making observation more convenient than pre-dawn viewing windows. Binoculars reveal impressive detail. The coma appears as a fuzzy disk, distinctly different from background stars. The tail, if conditions are favorable, extends noticeably from the coma. Long exposure photography with even modest equipment can capture structure invisible to the eye. This observational accessibility matters. Professional astronomers have limited telescope time. They can't monitor comets continuously. Amateur observers worldwide provide complementary coverage 
tracking brightness variations, tail morphology changes, and outburst events that might occur between professional observation sessions. Not every early eruption sustains. Comets are notoriously unpredictable, and several scenarios could diminish Lemon's show. First, the outburst might be a one-time event. If the eruption exhausted a specific volatile-rich pocket, activity could decline rapidly rather than continuing to build toward perihelion. The comet might fade back to predicted brightness levels, or even dimmer if significant surface material was lost. Second, fragmentation is possible. Outbursts indicate internal stress. If structural integrity is compromised, the nucleus could split. Fragmentation sometimes increases brightness temporarily as fresh ice surfaces are exposed. But it also accelerates sublimation and can lead to rapid disintegration. Comet Alenin in 2011 and Comet Ison in 2013 both disintegrated near perihelion after showing concerning structural signs. Third, Tail disconnection events, while spectacular, indicate strong solar wind interactions. If solar wind pressure strips away significant portions of the coma and tail faster than new material is released, visible brightness could decrease, even if nuclear activity remains high. Fourth, the magnitude negative 2 prediction, while circulating in astronomy communities, isn't confirmed by official sources. It represents optimistic extrapolation from current trends. Comets frequently underperform optimistic predictions. Conservative estimates suggest magnitude 4 to 5 is more reliable, which is still impressive but not Jupiter bright. Observers should maintain realistic expectations. Lemon has already exceeded predictions dramatically, which is exciting. But comets have disappointed observers countless times throughout history by fading unexpectedly or fragmenting. Lemon approaches perihelion on November 8th. Solar radiation will continue intensifying. If the comet survives structurally intact, activity should increase further. Best case scenario, brightness continues rising. The comet becomes easily visible to the naked eye from dark locations. The tail extends dramatically. Additional outbursts create spectacular short-term brightening. Lemon becomes one of the memorable comets of 2025. Moderate scenario, brightness stabilizes near current levels. The comet remains a good binocular object with a respectable tail, but doesn't achieve dramatic naked eye prominence. It provides excellent viewing for dedicated observers and contributes valuable scientific data. Disappointing scenario. The early eruption exhausted volatile reserves. Activity declines. The comet fades back toward telescopic visibility. While scientifically interesting, it disappoints observers hoping for an accessible spectacle. Current observations favor the best case or moderate scenarios. The comet appears structurally intact. Activity continues at high levels. No signs of imminent fragmentation have been reported. Observers worldwide will monitor Lemon closely through perihelion and beyond. Each night brings new data. Each image adds detail to our understanding of how this particular comet responds to solar heating. As I record this, Comet C-2025, a 6 lemon, continues defying predictions. Its coma expands. Its tail stretches across the sky. And somewhere beneath its frozen surface, volatiles continue venting into space in ways that standard models didn't anticipate. This is why we study comets. Not because they follow predictable patterns, but because they don't. Every comet is unique. Every approach to the sun reveals new details about internal structure composition, and response to solar heating. Lemon wasn't supposed to be spectacular. It was supposed to be modest, interesting, primarily to dedicated comet observers with good equipment. Instead, it erupted early, brightened dramatically, and transformed into one of the potentially visible highlights of late 2025. Whether it continues this performance through perihelion or fades unexpectedly, it's already succeeded in reminding us that nature doesn't read our prediction models. The universe provides surprises for those patient enough to watch and flexible enough to adapt when expectations prove wrong. If you have access to dark skies in the coming weeks, look for Comet Lemon. Binoculars will definitely show it. From truly dark locations, you might see it with naked eye. And if you capture images, share them. 
contribute to the global observing network documenting this unexpected visitor's behavior. Because 1,300 years from now, when Lemon returns, astronomers of that era will study the records we create today. They'll analyze the light curves, the spectroscopy, the images. They'll compare that future apparition to this one. And they'll benefit from the data we're collecting right now during this unexpected early eruption that nobody predicted, but everyone is racing to document. The comet that wasn't supposed to impress has already impressed. What happens next is up to the complex physics happening beneath its frozen surface. And we'll be watching, measuring, photographing, learning from every moment of activity this ancient traveler provides.